Libra. This is your April 2024 tarot reading. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for April 2024 in love. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for April 2024 in love. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for April 2024 in love. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Libra, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Libra, this is you. This is your partner. So, Libra, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For April 2024, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Libra, is you, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius, the Queen of Swords. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Libra, this is you. But listen, someone here could be taking on the energy of this queen of swords and cutting something out. Also with the queen of swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the queen of swords. For Libra and their partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords. For Libra and their partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords. For Libra and their partner. It is clarified with you, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, the King of Swords. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. Now, Libra, yes, this very well could be you. However, someone could be taking on the energy here, coming forth with truthful communication, or making a decision. Clarify the King of Swords for Libra and their partner. Clarify the King of Swords for Libra and their partner. Clarify the King of Swords for Libra and their partner. It is clarified with death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after an ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Libra and their partner. Clarify death for Libra and their partner. Clarify death for Libra and their partner. <clears throat> it is clarified with the Eight of Wands. Aries, we are a Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel, but this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So, Libra, listen, you can tell me that something is happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument, throwing fiery dots sent one another or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else so listen libra hmm. you can tell me that someone's making a decision to maybe want to file legal documentation or paperwork 
and transform things with you guys. Maybe quickly here. When I say transform, it very well could be no longer are we dating, now we're engaged, no longer engaged, now we're married. However, you can tell me that someone is making a decision to cut something off here and to end something. Maybe even file some type of legal documentation or paperwork to do so because of some type of heated discussion or argument or the fact that someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. We'll see. Libra, you have the emperor. You have... What? Dang, talking about dominating your own read here. You have the page of pentacles. Your partner has the four of swords. Your partner has the ten of cups. And your partner has the star. Air, 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 air. So, Libra, the mutual point of interest and in what's on both you guys' minds here. Is someone very well be maybe making a decision, maybe quickly, and to do something quickly with filing legal documentation or paperwork to transform things between you guys? Like I said, no longer are we dating, now we're engaged, no longer engaged, now we're married. You can tell me that someone's making a decision to cut things off and end things because of some type of argument. Someone could be making a decision to cut things off and end things because someone here was communicating passion online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Could also be that someone's making a decision to travel. Libra, you have the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with. Clarify the emperor. For Libra. Clarify the emperor. For Libra. Clarify the emperor. For Libra. It is clarified with the seven of wands. Aries. Leora Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So listen, Libra, you can tell me that your standoff is shunning and setting boundaries with this person, or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. Now listen, you can tell me that dealing with this Aries, this Taurus, this spouse, this parent of your child, someone you work with or do business with, you may be standoff is shunning and setting some type of boundaries here, or maybe you're trying to come in and explain to this person. Mm -hmm. hmm. You could tell me I'm just, I'm not, I'm not willing to bend at all. Mm -mm. Standing your ground here with something. Libra, you have the king of swords. This is you, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Libra, this is you. Clarify the king of swords. For Libra, clarify the king of swords. For Libra, what about Libra? What about Libra? Clarify the king of swords. For Libra, it is clarified with the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So, Libra, could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot. For Libra, clarify the chariot. For Libra, clarify the chariot. For Libra, it is clarified with the three of wands. Aries, Leora, Sag. This is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. 
So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. Libra, you can tell me that you want to make some type of move, but you have to wait. Libra, you can tell me that your ships are here and you're leaving. <laughs> your ships are here and you're making some type of move here. You could also be some type of travel, like I said. Okay, both these cards are travel cards here. Hmm. Ain't no stopping us now. We're on the move. You have the page of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner in a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So Libra, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or a commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for Libra. Clarify the page of pentacles for Libra. Clarify the page of pentacles for Libra. It is clarified with the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Libra, either you're indecisive or you're blocking now, Libra, it could be some news about practicality or you guys' relationship or commitment and you're indecisive. However, you can tell me you're receiving some type of news and you're blocking, blocking. I want to know if something came in for you. Some news about practicality, your ships are here, and so you're blocking them, blocking them, and leaving? Hmm. I mean, that's what it looks like to me, Libra. It's almost like I put up with you all this time. I had plan B in motion and now my ships are here. I can implement plan B. Forget you. I'm out of here type of thing. What in the world, Libra? So Libra, listen, you can tell me that hmm, you're making a decision to maybe cut things off and end things and leave. Leave. You're not telling me as to why. Maybe they'll tell me why. You're not telling me why. So I feel like it's some type of travel for you. Libra, your partner has, or the getaway. Your partner has the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <clears throat> this is your partner taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging their crystals. So Libra, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys are on a break. Your partner could tell me that they're trying to recover or they're meditating on something here. Clarify the Four of Swords for Libra's partner. Clarify the Four of Swords for Libra's partner. Clarify the Four of Swords for Libra's partner. It is clarified with the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. Could be dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, or your partner is wanting to take action. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Libra's partner. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Libra's partner. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Libra's partner. It is clarified with this page of pentacles right here again. So some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for Libra's partner. Clarify the page of pentacles for Libra's partner. Clarify the page of pentacles for Libra's partner. 
it is clarified with the devil. It could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much. Anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Libra, it could be dealing with a Capricorn, but when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Libra's partner. Clarify the devil for Libra's partner. Clarify the devil for Libra's partner. It is clarified with the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now, your partner's taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching their inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but your partner could tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. Your partner could tell me that they're doing some heavy duty soul searching, or they went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit. For Libra's partner, clarify the hermit. For Libra's partner, clarify the hermit. For Libra's partner. It is clarified with the Three of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to your partner being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Libra, listen, your partner could tell me that this is all work or business. Your partner could tell me that they're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. Your partner could tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract, collaboration, or there's a third party. Now, Libra, your partner could tell me that they're meditating and thinking long and hard, doing some introspection concerning maybe practicality and some type of legal binding contract here. Could be work or business. Could be some news about practicality, work or business. Your ships are here and you're ready to go. You can take this job and shove it, says Alice. Kiss my grits, <laughs> says Alice. Anyway... Your partner could also tell me that you guys are on a break, that something is toxic here because there's a third party. Your partner could also tell me that there's some type of news here concerning practicality or commitment, and they're tempted to work things out here after being on a break. <clears throat> okay, so... So far, let me tell you what I feel. You know how a relationship, we stay together, we live together, whatever. You know how a relationship is already on the rocks. But then something happens maybe with finances here. Something good may happen with finances here. And someone may want to say, okay, well, let's try to work things out. Let's work together. Let's do this. Let's do that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like in the marriage, it could have been some type of struggle with, I'm just as an example, okay? <clears throat> some type of struggle with finances and things were just haywire and you were on your last leg with this relationship. You were already making plans to leave. And now all of a sudden when you're like 10 minutes from leaving out the door, something happens, something comes in and it's almost like, your partner's saying, okay, well, can we work things out? Can we work together? Can we implement our home business or something like that? And you're like, hmm, I don't want to hear it. Uh, hmm, I'm indecisive because I'm ready to leave. I'm, I'm ready to leave and I don't want you to be my boss. I don't need a boss. I'm the boss. <clears throat> I'm just saying, Libra. Your partner has a Ten of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. 
So listen, Libra, someone very well may have commitment on the brain, but in tarot tens are ending. So it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Libra's partner. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Libra's partner. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Libra's partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment. But this can also speak to your partner feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. Wish, wish. So your partner could tell me that they're getting their wish. Your partner could tell me that they're feeling smug or overindulging, trying to numb out. <clears throat> your partner could tell me it's their wish for you guys to go into a commitment here. This can be about commitment, a legal binding contract. It has you indecisive when you're just like ready to go. Your partner could tell me that maybe it's their wish that it's ending here. Your partner could also tell me that they may be overindulging, trying to numb out because it is ending. Hmm. Is this like their last ditch effort to stop you from leaving or something? Your partner has a star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting their wish, being divinely guided, following their destiny. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner could tell me that they're getting their wish, following their destiny. Your partner could tell me that they need to heal individually on their own, or they're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star for Libra's partner. Clarify the star for Libra's partner. Clarify the star for Libra's partner. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, your partner is wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree. Letting bygones be bygones. And moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So listen, Libra, your partner could tell me that they're physically moving or traveling. Your partner could tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or your partner is saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. You know, Libra, your partner could tell me that, you know, you guys are physically moving or traveling here. Some type of travel here. Both these cards speak of travel. You have two travel cards. Eight of Wands could also be travel. Your partner can tell me that, you know, let's heal things. That's my wish. Let's just put it behind us and restore our relationship, our commitment. Or your partner is saying, you know what? Their destiny is just to leave, just move away from the relationship here. You know, maybe they need to heal from something, but their destiny could be just to move away from the relationship. <clears throat> but I feel like they want to restore things here. Libra. Your partner can tell me that things ended here over, it could have ended quickly with you because this is NASCAR fast here. It could have ended quickly with you guys over a heated discussion or argument. It could have ended, I don't see anything about there being someone else in the picture maybe here, but I don't know. I don't feel like it, okay? Your partner could also tell me that Libra ended things and left really fast or Libra ended things fast. Ended things and went somewhere really fast. Some type of travel here. <sighs> Your partner could also tell me that they're hoping that you guys transform things and start new after this ending. I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames exposed for you and your partner, Libra. You guys, support the channel with links in the description and cash out for donations. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Thank you, Libra. And it says, you challenge me on every level. This is too difficult. I love my freedom. Is that so? You challenge me on every level. This is too difficult. I love my freedom. I'm going to put that over here. <laughs> what else for Libra and their partner? What else for Libra and their partner? And it says, I know we have a soul connection. I've been doing some research. 
I know we have a soul connection. I've been doing some research. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Libra. It's like a last ditch effort to keep you from leaving, but you already out the door. And it says, I couldn't let you get close to me. I couldn't let you get close to me. I should put it right here. I really should. <laughs> I'm going to take a look at the Lover's Oracle for you and your partner, Libra. And it says, acceptance is a key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There's no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Accept it. Accept it. Libra, this is your April 2024 tarot reading. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.